Hey everyone, Happy New Year. It's January 1st, 2020. I thought I'd do a video today on my EDC. I recently found EDC videos on YouTube and I've been watching them non-stop for almost two weeks now, or if not longer. So I decided I'd do a quick video on my EDC, my everyday carry, as it is January 1st, 2020. So, to kick it off, a couple of things that's not pictured are obviously my glasses. I don't have them laid out because I kind of need them. Next thing is my coffee cup. Anybody that knows me knows I usually have a coffee cup. And I want to drink it as I do this so I don't have that out. Um, the next thing is my hat. I usually have a hat on. And probably 95% of the time it's New York Yankees hat. Might be Denver Broncos. It might be something else once in a while. Uh, next up, obviously an easy one. This is my watch. This is a Garmin Vivo Active HR. It's a sports watch. I've had it for, it's got to be going on three years. Works good. Keeps track of steps, activities, calories, sleep. It's got GPS, so it'll map stuff out. Um, next thing is my keys. I have everything hooked to, I don't know how to say it, I, Ida Kiki, it's a carabiner, but it's an anti-loss carabiner, so nothing to fall off, it can't get to the clip, unless you move that, then you can slide it up, otherwise it's secured, so on the keys, Got the van keys on it right now. They're just dying with a cheap carabiner that I can swap out for the truck keys. I have a house key, my locker key at work. Then on this keychain or this key ring, I have an Olight I1R2. It's a mini little flashlight. really that's a low setting that's a high setting so that shows up really good it's like 130 lumens so I actually have a studio light there and a light over there so that just shows how bright it really is this one's cool because it's USB rechargeable Uh, next thing is my Victorinox Classic SD. I have a doohickey, Night Eyes doohickey, little screwdriver, pry bar, bottle opener. I have a geocache bison tube. I've had this for a while. I've never used it, so I decided to keep some, like, five tablets of ibuprofen in it. This key ring, or this key, is a screwdriver. It's a Proto, made in USA, has Ingersoll Rand on it. So, this has sentimental value. This, this was my dad's. He had it on his key ring all the time. I don't remember not ever being on it. So that's why I have that. So that's about it for the keychain. So watch is done. Next up is my wallet. It's just a card holder with a magnetic money clip. It used to say United Steelworkers, USW, United and strength for workers 
can't see it. I've used it for, I've had this for four or five years. I've swapped out a few times and I've gone back to this. I have a new wallet coming in the mail off from Etsy. So when I get that, I'll, I'll show it to you. Um, my phone, this is a Samsung Galaxy J3. Nothing special. Um, it does what a smartphone is supposed to do. Cameras, a potato. Camera sucks. Um, next up, got this for Christmas. A little pocket organizer. I don't know how to say it. Dio Drio. Dio Drio. Wife got it for me off of Amazon. It's actually pretty nice. I really like using it. It's got a spot for a pen. A small knife. Another pocket. So I keep my pen, knife, flashlight, which I'll go over in a minute. Another thing I have, I carry around most of the time in my back pocket. If not, it's close by. I guess it's a mead. I think it's a mead, but it's an exceed. It's a uh, one of those dot graph notebooks. It's got a couple of page markers in the back. There's a there's a little envelope. I keep some first aid stuff in there. Uh, splinter out some band aids, some creams. Good place to keep it. On the front, I made a pen holder just out of Gorilla Tape. So this is doubled right here, so it's not sticky. And it's, I just keep my pen in there. This one's a Pilot G2. I like these pens. Gel pen, clicker. So I can keep that right there. I can keep any kind of pen right there. So I keep notes at work, what I've done, what I have to do personal stuff I have a little leather cover for field notes coming I ordered off of Messi so I think I'll just keep this at work for work stuff because they'll last me quite a long time then I'll use I'll carry the other one for personal stuff so I've been carrying this multi-tool it's a Gerber dime. It's really small. It fits in the watch, my watch pocket, the fifth pocket. Yeah, you know, I bought this used off of eBay. So, although I've had it for a little bit, it's it came kind of beat up. It's got a bottle opener, pliers, as you saw. Um, I kind of wanted it for this. It's a little package opener you can use it to open the clamshell the plastic packaging cut tape whatnot but the blade it's got a good little blade on it thing is it's loose so to use it it flexes you have to push down so I might get a new one. I might just buy a new one. They're not that cheap. I really only saved four or five bucks, you know, doing the eBay auction. Kind of regret it. This is my Fisher Space Pen Bullet. If you remember these things right anywhere, upside down, underwater, in space. Freezing temps, hot temps, things should write anywhere. So this, I keep in my pocket organizer, that spot. Next up is a Olight I3T EOS. It's a nice AAA. 
little flashlight. It's not very big. You see this is pretty bright. It's got like three, two modes. High. Then Moonbeam, which, which is actually pretty bright by itself. I've used it going outside in the dark and you can see where you're going. So this one, the flashlight I keep in that pocket, I keep the clip in. I don't like how this part, this part so you can stick it on a hat brim, but I don't like how that sticks out in my pocket. And then for my knife, I got this a couple weeks ago. It's an Ontario Rat 2. in D2 steel. I really, really, really like this knife. It is sharp. It's three inches. The blade's three inches, so it's legal just about anywhere. The ergonomics are great on it. You can really get, I can get a good grip. As you can see, I got pretty big hands and I can still get all four fingers on it. It's a liner lock. The action is pretty good. Opens quick. Closes easy. So this I keep there. And I do put the clip on the inside. I don't use a clip. Because it's kind of it's really tight. So and this is in my pocket. I can reach in and grab this lanyard and I gotta really pull on it this way. I can just reach in, I can pull it right out while taking the whole thing out. So that's that. That's my EDC that I'm starting out 2020 with. Um it's going to change. I got a new wallet coming. I got a new notebook coming. I got other knives that I'll swap in and out. I think I'll keep my watch for as long as it works. This phone, I don't know. It's really cheap. I'm going to have to get a new one eventually. So, that's it. That's my 2020 EDC that I'm starting the year out with. If you like these kind of videos, leave a notice in the or comment in the comment section saying you like them. Um, I'm going to be making more videos. I'll go over some of the stuff in more detail. I'll go over some of my other stuff. I'll do, I'm going to do more of my the peripheral neuropathy videos. And of course, I'll probably do a geocache video here and there. And when it warms up, I'll do more cycling videos. So, I got a lot of things going on in this channel. But, that's kind of what it's for. It is called Factors of Jack. And, those are the factors that kind of make me up. So, until next time, Happy New Year. And, I'll see you next video. Bye.